Let's repeat. Ulitin natin. Play the blues, baby. Dami na. Dami na ba yan? Ibig sabihin na, puto mo, taking bomb ako, lumasing rio ako. Sa taking time bomb. Hmm. Tutulong siya. Ako sa tutulong. Yung flashback. Ako na flak na yun. Mabali yung buto. Nakit ang iya na. Hindi ko to. Siya mismo. Siya mismo nag-bonus yun sa sarili niyong experiment. Hindi ko na naman ang pag-alas bina na ni Sip. Kalihan ang braso. Gaga to sila. Sinago pa pa si Nico to. Nak kontrol ni kan? Betul betul sih di kamus magnetis ni. Tangi nama lari. Opa! Silikon. It's um, yeah, it's a good, it's a, it's a, it's a good episode, and um, thing called scavenger. Hindi nila kaya, yung machine rio kaya halatang hindi nila kaya. Eh si Miko to, si Miko to lang hindi nila kaya. I still just gonna, I just gonna figure out how accelerator. Got mixed up with these guys. I still don't know how. We've seen uh, how Scavenger operates. Okay? This, uh, this particular group was. Tamang guess ko. They're also after the machine Ryoko. And well, they're not doing so good. Okay. Ngayon itong isa nilang kasama. Uh, the one whose power is reducing friction. So. Arrogante, may pagka-arrogante. He chose not to go after the human Ryoko kasi hindi naman talaga yun ang target nila. She, she challenged Mikoto to a fight. Okay? She challenged Mikoto to a fight. Hindi talo. <laughs> may, lalaman pa siya sa isang level 5 na Esper. That's suicide. Pabuti, pabuti na lang hindi siya pinag. Patay ni Mikoto gets to um, Mikoto gets to meet the rest of Scavenger. Kasi nga isa lang pa na paakin nila to to stop the machinery ako. Okay? Scavenger is not doing it's not it's not doing so well against him. Okay? So in comes Mikoto, she steps in. Now it's a uh, it's a good episode. Okay? Although um, well, I could not say that they could have done more. Okay, I couldn't say they could have done more, the animators. But, tandaan niyo, this is episode 22. So, we're now down to the final three episodes. And from the looks of it, from the from the teaser, sa F for episode 23, mukhang bakbaka umate ka buna. Alright? Mukhang bakbaka umate ka buna. Kasi... Tutulong na rin si Miko to. Well, she probably has no choice but to... But to, but to, but to take that cyborg out. Tulungan na lang ang scavenger. So, yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's quite a serious episode. Alright? It's quite a serious episode. Unlike the last one. Uh, yeah, white scenes are there. Like, but 
And like I said in the last digest, nag-umpisa na ang hakan, right? So, good. I'm satisfied with that. But, um, to have uh, a team like Scavenger go, uh, go up against a cyborg, uh, an OP, uh, a nearly OP cyborg, inasyong pa nga niya isang power ng power ng Avenger yung nagko-control ng papel. The one who manipulates paper. Asumbaw, I don't know. I don't know how. Alright? Maybe it's part of her programming. Maybe it's part of her... Uh, uh, yeah, it's may, maybe it's part of her programming. I don't know. We've yet to... We've yet to discover that fully. Alright? There's more to this machine we know than meets the eye. I gotta hand... We, we gotta... We gotta hand it that. Okay? So, for a uh, for a for an, for, a, for an episode that is setting up for the finale, so I don't know we'll be on three episode twenty two. Ang tamap lang. If it weren't for the fight scenes, well, I wasn't able to mention this. So Machine Liyoko actually broke uh, the leader's arm. Talagang she takes uh, uh, she takes fun in hurting people. Okay? Kasi nyo, in the last uh, digest, eh, pagka-psychotic ang cyborg na to. Alright? And she almost tried to kill the real Ryoko. Ayan. Kung hindi na kailang mang sa ang scavenger, baka napatay na nyo. So, yeah, that would be my rating for this particular episode. One thumb up lang. Okay. Um, if they did not uh, incorporate some uh, 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 let's call this some smack talking I tell you mga life life. it might have gotten a, ro- a lower rating. So again one thumb up for this episode. Three. Final three episodes already. So episode 23 is next. That will be next week. And you are so lucky, Twitch. Okay? You get to review. You get to see this review firsthand. If you haven't followed me yet, well, I strongly suggest you follow it. You follow me now. Alright? Right there. Okay? Follow me right now for more live episode reviews. Okay? So schedule. Live episode Sundays and days. Alright? So, we're gonna take a break first. Alright? Kawawang Peter. Whoa! Or she is fucking you. <laughs> yes, you are, Peter. Gentlemen, the elephant is in the room again. <laughs> there goes the treaty. Oh, na man. Oh, na man. Kayo na une. <laughs> Come on, Peter! For the fourth time, we last si Peter in as many episodes! <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> Oo nga naman kayo. <laughs> Tama si Peter doon. <laughs> <laughs> Wala nga naman punishment eh. So <laughs> Takbo Peter, takbo! <laughs> I would never run around naked for the sake of women like that. No, sorry. Grabe ka. Oh, no, 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 Oger? Olsam. Ah, si Lisa. Bite naman! Grabe kayo! Grabe! Okay. <clears throat> Peter has had enough. Okay. He walks away, but he just couldn't walk away completely because of the Velia. Uh, we understand, okay. Uh, despite, despite the, despite the four women uh, chasing him all around the city. Eh, ang puso, ang puso niya laki, laki no Velia pa rin. Uh, that's a man for you. Okay, that's a real man for you. Now, well, he meets this ogre na yun pala suitor ni Lisa. Okay. Lisa is an ogre princess. Siyempre, maraming supers, okay? This ogre is one of them. Wow! Now, the way I see it, okay, Peter is seeing this as a problem. But, okay, if he turns it around in the next episode, he will see this as a solution. You get what I'm saying, mga lifestyle? You get what I'm saying? Ganito lang yan. Okay? There are four women Apat na babae ang humahabol sa'yo. They want your seed. And you've had enough. You have to get with at least one of them. Here comes a suitor. Ang dapat gawin ni Peter dito, okay, ingganyuhin dapat yung ogre na yun, naligawan si Lisa. Sabihin na ni Peter na kasama niya si, Li- ni- si Lisa sa guild. Ipakikilala niya. If ever, ipakikilala niya dapat si Lisa dito sa ogre na to. Okay? And well, I'm sure there are there are traditions uh, there are traditions in place for uh, for the ogres. So, Paano natin? Paano natin? Magkatuloyin yung dalawang yan. So that's one less problem. You now have you now have you now only have three problems to deal with if you're Peter Grill. Diba? Now, I don't know why I don't know why Peter sees this as a problem. If you've seen the episode, you could see the look on his face. Eh. Parang dagdag na problema na naman eh. I don't know kung, uh, kung sinadya ng mga writers to or the animators. But, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Bottom line, Peter should not see this as a problem. Dapat, <clears throat> He should let his he should let his brains take over na instead of his balls. All right? He's been letting his penis run his life for too long for too long for for that long anymore. For that long na, okay? It's about time. It's about time na putulin niya ang control ng ng alaga niya sa kanya. All right? So, well, <clears throat> in comes the suit uh, of course, Peter tries to walk away, but <laughs> but overall, okay, it's a it's a good episode. It's a good episode. So, Peter Bill and the Philosopher's Time episode. Let me make sure. All right, nine, okay. episode nine. 
on top of that. Alright? Kasi, if she, if, kasi kung, ano, ideally, ah, uh, sa akin, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not one of the animators, okay? I'm not one of the writers of the script, but, it would be better for, uh, it would be better if the writers should put it this way. Peter, uh, let's out his devious side. He sees this, he sees this ogre as a solution rather than a problem. Mas maganda yun eh. Mas maganda yun eh. But I hope, yeah, I hope he makes up for that in the next episode. Okay? <clears throat> Pero yung, yung katatawanan, okay, nandun pa rin eh. Vintage Peter Grill. But, uh, I am not, I am totally not satisfied with how, uh, with the, with the plot twist in the end. Kaya, one thumb up lang. They should have, uh, yeah, they should have uh, made Peter see this as a solution than a problem. Okay. Sana. So, sana in the next episode, uh, ganun ang, ganun ang mindset ni Peter. Okay. Ganun ang mindset niya. As in, hindi ko napanood yung teaser. <laughs> Come on, Rook, lower your pride. Nakukusan naman yung tao na mag-apologize eh. Man. You know what? Seki Yutke was uh Seki Yutke is also sang the the ED to Dr. Stone. Makes you want to watch that anime. Right? Okay? Tandaan niya. Makes me want to watch Makes me want to watch Dr. Stone also. <clears throat> God. Let's do it. This is really that bad. <laughs> Curry rice. Shut up, Nyan. That guy just simply has a mind of its own. Eh, sa mga hindi dismantle ni Yuge. May sarili ng isip para ate. Ooh. Ipagluto mo nga kami ng ano, curry rice, Robin. Ah, Nakakodo eh. Si Ro ah. Mukhang alam ko na kung bakit. Mukhang alam ko na kung bakit. Nye! Sabi ko na nga ba eh. Ang alam na niyang lutuin na, na curry, instant! Hindi yung... yung porsahog. Aminin mo na, Romy, hindi ka marunong magluto! <laughs> Be honest to your friends, come on! <laughs> Aril na yan eh! <laughs> ano nangyari? Ay, oo, oh, tama, nangyayari yan. Ano nangyari yan? <laughs> Gakoto now looks like Wolverine! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, okay na. <laughs> Magdano yung mga alipore. Mga alipore si Gakoto. That's the dishwasher! <laughs> Yun, ama. O, diba naman yung balutan? Ay, salamat! Umamin din! Motomo! <laughs> Ha 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 Oh, he's transforming! <laughs> Whoa! Ako, nagsisigila rin! Punta nag-merge! 
Mapapala ka ba nga rito ng Aizo? Yan lang ang transformation nila! Si Pahay na lang yan, Aizo! Si Pahay mo na lang yan! Amote yan! Red Radish! She doesn't even know what a carrot looks like! Holy shit! Ano na di maroon na magluto eh! ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Uh, ginawan ni Yuga ng robot mode si Kaizo. Okay? Uh, he got challenged to a duel. He won. Pero, well, that took his batteries out of him. That took nearly, <clears throat> muntik na siya malobat. Dahil sa duel na yun. And he decided to, uh, separate, to separate from the bike. Okay daw. Sabi niya, okay. Okay, he Yuga. Well, overall, um, yeah, it's a good episode. Okay. It's a good episode. Um, <clears throat> if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan and you really want to see a non-dual episode, this is this is the one. Okay, this is the one. Never I never never have I seen a non-dual episode since um probably since Brains. Okay, the last time I saw a non-dual episode, the Brains pa. So yeah, it's a it's in typical in typical Seven's fashion. Okay, humor. Only uh, humor that even kids can understand. All right. So, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I'm I'm okay with this episode. I'm okay with this episode. So, let's rate it, All right? Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode fourteen. One thumb up. One thumb up. Now. I say, well, I was really expecting to. Uh, I was really expecting a, a duel here, but the the duel Kaizo had didn't get much exposure. Tana, tana yun man lang, tana yun man lang i um tawo dito. Binigyan nila ng kanting sequences, kung ano mga cards na ginamit at kung ano yung strategy na ginamit ng kalaban. So Kaizo wasn't given much exposure here because of his robot, because no okay, because of its robot mode. Okay. Pero, overall, the humor is good. Okay. The humor is good. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s is starting to, um, starting to brand itself with its, uh, with its own, uh, with its own humor style. Okay. <clears throat> A humor style that is entirely different from the other six series. Maybe even, probably even, uh, more unique than Zexal. Than Zexal ever had, or even Arc Five. But then, but the tindi mga humor elements din to ni sa Zexal sa Arc Five. So yeah, that would that would be my rating for this episode. One thumb up. Okay. Um. Well, I'm supposed to review only four, pero nakita ko there was an opportunity to review this Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 episode 14 this early as a treat for you Twitch I've already reviewed Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 episode 14 which I'm supposed to do sa Thursday pa eh, sabi ko I'm gonna go the extra mile here just for Twitch <laughs> just for uh, just for the uh, just for the other streamers here to, to watch Oh, yun. <laughs> Tangin na na sila, ano? Gira na, TJ. Gago. Trying to be as fast as the train. Tangin na si Gil pala to. Si Rishman. Tangin na tinapon. Sigil pala yun! Puta! Hinuhagap yung train! Tanga na, nasa sa lead! Sino naman ang pinagbalingan? Oh, ba't pinatigil doon sa tulay? Anong binabalak nito? Puta! Oh, Sinugod na niya ni Kosami! Tang inam 
Tapos sinili ko kasami. <laughs> Nasabo pa yung tulay. Puta rakis. Mukhang mamamati pa si Kosami rito ah. Parang tado yung sigil. Parang tado yun. Wow, um... <laughs> That was fucking tough to watch. All right. Now we know that Wisman and Gil are one of the same. He he pulled us all. He pulled us all. Tangi na tarantado pa ng Gil na yan. Kosa may been shot. The prospects of him living through the next episode are what. Well, You've seen in, you've seen in the teaser for the next episode. I don't want to give you the details. You just watch it. You just watch this episode of Apa Nalan Man, all right? But <clears throat> Okay. It's tough to watch. Okay. It's fucking tough to watch. Gil went. Gil went too far with this. Pinasira niya, uh, he, he has his own gang, okay? He hijacks the train, so Pia was on. Tapos, pina, uh, pinatigil niya doon sa isang tulay. Then he gets back to the racers. Sinagsisira lahat ng kotse nila. Especially Apares. Especially Apares. So, okay. <clears throat> All I can say with this episode, it's a, it is a really good episode, okay? Don't get me wrong. If I say that an episode is, is tough to watch, doesn't mean it's good, okay? If you see, if you see me, you like, if you see my face like this, then it's a bad episode. Then expect it's a bad episode, but I did not show that facial expression of mine. With this one, okay. <clears throat> I was a bit expectant of such uh, drama because it is the last five episodes already of Apariran Man. Okay. It's slated for 13 episodes. The countdown begins here, episode nine. Okay, episode ten. Ah, sorry. Yeah, it. it Already started in the previous one, episode 9. So we're now in episode 10. <clears throat> wow, okay. That was fucking tough to watch. Okay. This Gil okay, is a scumbag. Okay. Demonio. Demonio itong si Gil. Now, I am going to enjoy when Apare exacts revenge on him. Okay. Kung si Apare mismo. Now, Dylan at si TJ... Matagal nilang gusto patayin ito si Gil. I think he was the very reason why the 1007 are no more. Or the 1003. Siya ang sumira sa, sa gang nila. And Dylan and TJ, I, I think, have an axe to grind against him. Kahit na, well, kahit nga nag, nagpapatayan dito si Dylan at si TJ, I think they have a common ground here. In Gil. They both went after him. Talagang, they want him dead. They really want him dead. So, wow, okay. I've never seen uh, a scumbag of a villain as Gil. In all, probably in the last, in the last uh, six or seven years of being an anime fan. Probably in the last six or seven years. Talagang scumbag Tarantadong demonyo. Alright? So, this, Gil himself made this episode tough to watch. So, Apareran Man, episode 10, 2. Thumbs up. Alright? <clears throat> It's now beginning to shape as, wow. Okay. We're now down to, we're now down to the final three episodes of this great anime. Um, this anime should have been done as early as probably June or July 
Ah, hindi. May or June. Kasi 13 episodes eh. Nag-start actually to February. It took probably the longest hiatus this year. One month before one month before the COVID-19 one month ade, a few weeks before COVID-19 was declared a pandemic, they already took a break. The animators of Aparelaman already took a break. So, wow. <clears throat> Talk about making up for lost time. They come up with an episode like this where the uh, the real villain shows his true face. This uh, this scumbag, this fucking scumbag named Guilty Cigar. Uh, sorry. Uh, when it comes to villains like this, I would like to get in that anime and kill him myself. Okay? Use his own gun. Use his own gun against him and empty all the shells on his head. Ganon ang feeling ko ngayon. Gusto kong kunin ang baril niya. Uubusin kong bala sa ulo niya. Okay. That's how much I hate this zip. Okay? So, again, Aparelan Man Episode 10, two thumbs up. Kapit lang mga ka-lifestyle. We are now entering the final three episodes of this. <clears throat> of, well, probably one of the craziest animes to ever come out in the past few years. And I don't, ki- I don't give a fuck about what, uh, what the, uh, the mainstream anime fans would say. I don't give a fuck. If you haven't watched Apariran Man, you are a fucking normie. You are a fucking normie. You don't know good animes when you see one. That's all I can say. So, let's let's hang on tight, mga lifestyle. Let's wait for the next episode, okay? I just couldn't wait for the next episode. Wow! Vacation mode, ang ano? Ah, Hexeros. When will we see uh, the entire Hexeros team wear those things? Yung get up nila sa OP. No, they look cool. They, they, they really look like superheroes. I'm still waiting for that to happen. I'm still waiting for that to happen. <laughs> Up to now, we still couldn't believe Enjo has a gay uncle. <laughs> Enjo's uncle, who's the commander of the Saitama branch, is gay. <laughs> Abito naman si Enjo, barakong barako. Abito naman si Enjo, barako. Alright, barakong barako. <laughs> First nude bitch! Mukakala ko na kung bakit sila, bakit sila dinala dito. Nude pala! Yes! Yes! nila si Yossi, no? Ano yun? Ako, nasira siya siya rin naman. Hindi nura si Yossi, no? Oh, dami! Mabakod lahat! Oh! Business is about to pick up. <laughs> the Tokyo Hexeros are also here. Oh. Ah, sa Zero Gear. Si Kat na si Enjo. Hexeros dito? Oh, Enjo. batang mo! Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano Ooh. Okay. This is cool. Oh, what's happening here? Yes, yes. Let's see. Sawa kas, do karin. Mo pasitya. Pasyo, wala si nakama na. Hmm, koyon. Yes, yes. Isulong the same team. Awa, okay, sayo. 
Tigos nuclear. Sinampal na naman yung asino si Enjo. So, ang ancient energy pala ni Toma, voyeurism. <laughs> I, I got only one word for that. Voyeurism. <laughs> nice. Hala mo tuloy! Grabe! Wisit! Yung cover love pala! Karimasta! Dahil pagkain! Wow! All the house of breakfast! I still got I still got five minutes into my eating window. I might as well appreciate this. Ayana! Wow! Alright! So it is a uh, a delightfully good episode, okay? Bakasyon, uh, bakasyon ang kahit kamay Hexeros, yung mga uh, talagang bida. But the Tokyo, but the Tokyo, the Tokyo Hexeros had a job to do in the resort. So, nagtulungan na sila for this kasi uh, It's quite nice. Uh, the Tokyo Hexeros pala has, also has a, uh, a meal member like Enjo. Pero medyo, may pagka-effeminate ito eh. You see that? He has gay tendencies. Okay? Mala, malapiko ang dating. <laughs> malapiko ang dating. Alright? Ginubok ko ng piko. Alright? Ganon ang dating niya. Mal- malapiko ang dating nito si, si Toma. So, uh, he was a willing student to, to enjoy. Medyo, dito ako natuwa eh. Kasi, um, Enjo, he has asserted himself as the most, wow, to the eyes of many, as the most powerful member of the Saitama Hexeros. Of the Saitama Hexeros. And he's probably one of the coolest, okay? Talaga barako ang, ang tingin sa kanya ng, uh, ng siguro the public at large and, uh, and his fellow Hexeros, regardless of branch. So, Toma is no exception. So, kaya, Uh, kumaga uh, nagpumili siya na magpamentor kay, kay Enjo and um, wow it's a, it's a really good episode okay and okay Toma has uh, as a probably the weirdest way of, uh, of collecting each energy okay by voyeurism <laughs> okay He enjoys watching people uh, call this uh, come in intimate contact with each other, and I'm very sure he lo- he enjoys watching people make out. <laughs> Dun siya na ako ng H energy. Okay. Weird eh. It's fucking weird, but, but it's fun to watch. It. But realizing his potential, he was able to beat the Kisejo all by himself. <laughs> Ito yung produkto ng pagtuturo sa kanya ni Enjo. Okay. Ito yung pag- pagkukot sa kanya ni Enjo. Ito yung uh, by beating a Kisecho all on his own. Kasi yung mga, mga sama nilang babae, wala, disabled eh. By, by the Kisecho's power. So, as a, as a sign of gratitude, the, the resort owners uh, gave him a free breakfast. Kakain na nga ako nito pagkatapos ito. So, yun nga. So, and the episode ended, kaya nag-react ako ng ganun. Um, the, the commander of Saitama branch, yung uncle ni, yung uncle ni Enjo, kaya pala ganun, puya, kaya pala puyat ang itsura. He was already designing their costumes. Yung, yung gear that will go along the zero gear. Kumaga, ka, kapag ginamit nila yung zero gear nila, hindi hindi mawawasak yun. So, pretty cool. I, I am looking forward to it na. 
I'm looking forward to the next episode now because of that. Because of that final scene. Uh, yeah. A lot of nudity. But unfortunately, unfortunately, of the censors, alright? Come on! Give me an uncensored version, please. <laughs> so, Super Hexeros episode... Uh, nine. Episode 9. Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. So, why? Okay. Mainly because Enjo is now coming into his own as uh, both a leader and a mentor. Okay. He actually drew up the plan to on how to defeat that Kiseichu. Okay. Kasi yung mga iba nilang kasama eh, wala eh. Gastado because of the power, because of this Kiseichu's uh, special power. Kinutsaba niya si Toma. Ito, gagawin natin. Okay, ganito, ganito, ganito. Sumunod si Toma bilang, uh, bilang, uh, mentee niya. Bilang mentee niya. So, yun niya. Uh, he was able to help Toma realize, uh, realize his own potential. So, yun na nakakatawa dun eh. So, Enjo has uh, finally showed how, how much of he is, how much, how much he can be as a leader and a mentor. And of course, the funny moments, okay? Hoshino slapping Enjo again for getting near her boobs. <laughs> for whether intentional or not, she does, she think, she gets a kick out of slapping Enjo in the face. I don't know, it's like trip na trip. It's a trip si Enjo. So, yeah. yeah. Another good episode. Another good episode. And... I'm already feeling that vibe na talagang talagang patapos na ang patapos na ang Super Hexeros because of that final scene kasi bibigyan na sa kanila yung ano eh yung mga costumes nila kumbaga yung uh, yung kukompleto sa zero gear nila alright so Super Hexeros episode 9 2 thumbs up 2 thumbs up pa rin No, there's not. I love this guitar riff. I love this guitar riff. You know what, guys? Come to think of it, this is what's going to happen if the internet goes down. Alright? So, Decadence is the most relatable anime right now. Power tip for you, my lifestyle. Ah, <laughs> Why is not so cute when he's mad? Come on! Tang So, okay, decadence episode ten. Okay. All right. The bugs are finally not so many. Uh, Back to the final parts. Cabra loses his original sinapat ni Hugin. So, was, he, was he able to yun? So, but, akala ng lahat, wala doon, may natirang isa. Yung alaga, yung mga, uh, yung na, namamakala sa Gadol Factory. He has a pet Gadol too. Na, ano siya? Kumaga, sa inis niya, napatay niya ito. But, as it lack, sinaksak rito. Yung pala, <clears throat> tinurukan siya ng jeans ng gadol na yun. So, it took time to to be reborn inside that uh, uh, Wow. <clears throat> Talk about 
in the movie Aliens. Gatun. Ganun yung. That's how that's how those aliens get reborn. Dito sa Gadol ganun din. So, may nabuhay na Gadol na isa. So, it went on feeding and feeding and feeding until <clears throat> until it became this Wow! Skyscraper High Gadol. Super laki. And it looks really scary. Ito, I'm not talking about the virtual I'm talking about the real one. Okay. Now, now the bugs have to deal with this. You want a cyborg. The cyborgs now have to deal with this. In the virtual world, Hogan wants to kill Natsu. Alright. Um... We all saw the end of the episode that, well, that Gadol space is really scary, okay? The scariest Gadol, okay, uh, 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 that has ever lived. <laughs> Shit! <clears throat> what a good setup for the final three episodes of Dex, okay? I take my hat off the school again. Decadence episode two thumbs up. See, see my two thumbs. Yeah, yeah, see those two thumbs. Yeah. All right. Two thumbs up, folks. Oh, for these episodes, Decadence has been has been receiving has been getting high regard from me. Another plot twist, very decadence Alright? The only anime that rivals it when it comes to plot twists is Apariran Man. Okay? I don't know about the, about the other animes because, well, of course, I'm only, I'm only basing this on the anime that I Okay? On the animes I enjoy. So, what a plot twist. What Pero may natira pang isa. That you experienced to know. Okay. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> it doesn't if there are others. Um, they are just. Ito kasi kasi sabi ni Nai. So me when she about herself. Yung yun. Konong na. Me, all that's all her. No one should, um, so no one should tell her how to feel the experience. No one should judge her. So, I just love this anime when it comes to life lessons, okay? Probably that's the um, probably that was the third life lesson I've learned from this anime, okay? And I might be that in my uh, vertical domain channel. I'm not sure of that. Uh, nothing's fine yet. Fine yet. Uh, so, again, Decadence episode 10. Two thumbs up. Yeah. See, that's the All right. <laughs> there a banana and after eating a peanut butter sandwich and a banana. <laughs> I am so pumped. Noon pa lang simula away nila. Tito. Team solo kalaban. Karantado pala talaga. Ang ina po po sarap. Magpasalamat ka, pinuhay ka. Tong tarantado sa lahat eh. Si Jibran. Patala na ka. Daiwi. Putang ina, minir na ano. Minir na body slap. Tamaan yung tenga niya. Ina o balan. Ay, yun. Taseryoso na si ano. Mori. Oh! Oh, tangi na yan! Patsunya! 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 
Oh, you buddy. Hey, you buddy. Boom! Tangan na si Lalo Boom! Vintage Dive! Si Lalo Boom! Ay, isang panalo na. Kasunod. Si Ilpio. Put that again. Eh, ito naman yung spotang yan. Puma sa lolo ni Mort. Confirmed na. It's Nox versus the Six. And Team Soul is right in between. Eh, hindi gila ni... ni Parkwood. Taekwondo versus Taekyeon. Ang laking mata! Ito nga namin yun! Ano yun? What the hell? Oh! Saan galing yun? Moonlight sword style. Sword lift! Teka! Imira yun ah! Member ng The Six to eh! Oh! Ito ang Black Tortoise! Yung mga si Black Tortoise! Bami mo sa bata Tangin ang yan Ang mabasar yung yan Ano na siya Una bibigay dito talo Sa kang spada Bloodhound Tempest Putang ina yan! Ay, ulit ng move na naman siya! Ano nangyari dito? Siya pala ang dapi! Si Ilpia! Wow! Alright, let's switch, let's switch screens, alright? Nah, I'll just keep that. Okay naman yan eh, di ba? Okay naman yan eh, alright? Okay naman yan eh. So! Wow! <laughs> can, I have, can I have my water break muna? Uh, mga kalaysan. Can I please? <clears throat> Ilpio is the key! My God! And Mori has another original move! Nagpakita niya rito! Wow! <clears throat> While all this was going on, siyempre, the six for handling Nox, they won. Okay? Yung laban nila Mori at ni Ilpio, hindi pa tapos to. Alright? Not by a long shot! Holy shit! Puta! Grabe! The script was... The script is well written. Again. The fight scenes, wow, over the top uli. My God! Another God of High School episode leaving me speechless. <laughs> leaving me speechless again. Holy shit. Okay. So, with the graphics, okay, no. I'm going to put the graphics the least, okay? You know me, guys. You know me. I put the story first. <clears throat> okay, si Park Mujin and the leader of Knox, nakita. Sila, sila muna naglaban. Tapos yung mga alipores na. Then, of course, while this was going on, the match between Mori and Ilpio was ongoing. <clears throat> and natapos yung unang dalawa. Now, like I said before, The match between Mori and Ilpio is not over. It is not over. Kahit nagkaroon ng panibagong original move si Mori. Wow. Okay. Fight scenes. Well, we, we, we've seen how, how, how God of High School is... Uh, how they make every episode of God of High School. Okay. May, ta may totoong taong involved. Alright? May totoong taong involved. So, which makes the fight scenes all... Too realistic. Wow. Okay. And the story. 
kahit na medyo medyo express magigets ko pa rin you will still get the whole point of the episode okay so let's rate it God of High School episode 10 2 thumbs up baka hindi nyo kita eh yan para kita yung dalawang dalawang game na laki ko yun 2 thumbs up whew I'm gonna have my lemon water again. I can't wait for... <clears throat> I can't wait for the final three episodes, okay? If the final three episodes are um, are just as good as this, if you're still not satisfied with God of High School, you better watch it now. You better... You, you can start with at least episode 9, okay? Episode... Baka episode 10, mawala ka na ng hiningi. Alright? So, episode 9 muna. Because it's... It's, it kicks off the final five episodes. So again, God of High School, pwede, <laughs> pati ako nabubunod na. God of High School, episode 10, two thumbs up. You. Woo! I can't wait for the, 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 the last, the, the final three episodes of this, of this, wow, okay? Classic! of this classic and to think it comes from Korea it's out she's been back all morning Yurika GB ane you been a bad father. Red Moon pa lang ngayon. pa sa kanila. Sabihin. Every time I read out, someone dies. Someone will die. Okay. So, sort of a episode. It's a quiet episode right now. Uh, nine. Uh, probably the saddest episode. All right. Because well, just uh, just like what is. And so is um. Si... Ah, okay. Yuri. <clears throat> so <clears throat> Yuri, you was was witness to the death. So killed Libya. Oh, the funny thing about it is. He did not turn into Libya. Guru yung mga mga dumaan sa kanya. What is up, mga ka lifestyle? Before I, uh, before I, uh, well, officially close this video, I want you to check this out. Okay, link in the description. Let's talk about the past, uh, the past week in in anime episode. I'm sure you have seen the three lead character deaths. Okay, that is major news this week. One of those, uh, one of those anime episodes had two in them two lead character deaths in one episode so that is pain that is pain excuse me every single one of these animes well nearly every single one of them they're reaching their end already so you might as well you might as well follow all of them okay whenever whenever you can and I'm sure 
you you don't want to miss you don't want to miss out on on the finales of each of them, right? It is the um, it's probably probably the worst you can do this year as an otaku. Okay? Missing out on these great animes that we're reviewing. So I strongly uh, I strongly recommend that you that you basically should not miss out on every single one of these animes we're reviewing because most of them are nearing its they're nearing their end. Okay. As of this recording, I am I uh, I've just finished the um, finished editing the last review so by the time you see this it's already part of the it's already part of the digest and it has already uploaded all right so until the next digest mga lifestyle until the next until the next digest